Darvin, wonder what you saw in that first quarter, the 35 to nine, just the defense, the energy. Uh, what, what was your opinion on that? I mean, that was something we touched yesterday in practice, just um, establishing a defensive-minded, physical tone, um, and just dig in and multiple efforts, activity, being ready. You know, transition D is is, is key versus this team. Pick and roll defense is key. You know, everybody giving multiple efforts and then trying to finish the possession with a rebound. They make you work through the entire possession, the entire shot clock. And sometimes you have to work through multiple shot clocks because they're so good on the offensive glass. So just being compel- highly competitive and, and, and again, um, being ready to give multiple efforts. Darvin, what did you make of the crowd tonight? First Laker home game at full capacity in a decade, and you could just hear the energy coming out uh, before warm ups and then, you know, from the opening tip. It was. Yeah, someone loud. told me that, Elvon, before, before the game. I guess I was here as an, as an assistant the last time that it was like this. So, wow, time flies, man. But I thought our, our crowd was phenomenal. You know, you felt them in the building. Thank God. Thank God that. <laughs> We gave them something to cheer about. Um, the way we came out, our guys were aggressive, getting stops. Everyone, you know, from the on-ball defense to everybody, the shifts and activity off the ball, guys getting rebounds and pushing it, getting out, running. Um, it, it was great. But the energy in the building was phenomenal, unbelievable. And, you know, we look forward to having the same thing on Monday. Uh, LeBron showed a lot of restraint this week with some of the comments and certainly with the shot in the third quarter. What did you think of that shot and, and how LeBron has handled this? I think I think it's been great, man. You know, he's a consummate professional. You know, he doesn't get caught up in the war of words. He just goes out and speaks with his actions, speaks with his play, um, his leadership with the group has been, you know, it's not like he's not saying nothing to you guys and then talking to us. like. He's just been focused throughout, and um, and that's the way we need him to be. Again, it's not about you know the mano y mano matchup within a team sport. It's just you know you got to go out and make the right plays. Simple as that. I know it's not about a mano y mano matchup over here, Darwin, but the crowd was so into LeBron and so against Dylan Brooks. Do you think that affected LeBron early? That had to inspire him. I just think any you know just the doubt. Anyone trying to, you know, express any doubt toward him and the level of which he's playing at, you know, the way we turn things around over the course of this season, you know, that that just puts fire under all of us, you know, especially him. And so he, he's just going about his business like he's always done. And then, you know, we felt like we, we were, you know, less than ourselves in game two and some of the things that we didn't get done. So tonight, again, having that time, that break, to really go back and focus on some of the things they did, but also dive into what we needed to do. You know, it just is what it is. And all of that other stuff, you know, those theatrics, that's that's for the fans. The fans get, that's why they pay for their tickets and to come out, cheer, boo, depending on the environment you're in, whether you're home or away, which player it is, that's, that's all fan based. And it's great. It makes the game, you know, intriguing, suspenseful, but for us, it's about going out and take care of our business and making sure that uh, we're doing a good job with our assignment.